Alrighty, Chris Fears is joining us now. And Chris, we want to talk about the forecast first. So what a lovely day outside right now. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that view. Oh my goodness, we are zoomed in on the mountains. Wow. It took a while for that wave cloud to get out of here. <laughs> I was getting nervous there for a little while, but it has finally cleared up and we are starting to warm up very nicely. Here's a loop of Doppler 4000 with the satellite layer turned on and you can see that cloud kind of eroding there as the day goes on. Still a little bit windy, not nearly as strong as it was earlier this morning. These gusts over in the foothills were topping 50 miles per hour west of Idaho Springs along the front range. Still a little breezy out on the northeastern plains right now. We are in the 80s in Ray, near 80 in Burlington, well into the 70s along and east of I-25. Boulder, 68 degrees. We've got 50s and 60s in the high country and on the western slope. Nick O.B., our weather watcher in northeast Arvada, 69 degrees up the road and berthed Don Nadow has topped 70. All right, here's the weather maker. Look at this thing. This is a big storm spinning over the Gulf of Alaska right now. Over the next 24 to 48 hours, it makes a dive to the southeast and then starts to move into the northern Rockies as we roll into Saturday. This is Saturday afternoon, 6 p.m. There will be a low pressure somewhere in the vicinity. Notice all the black lines here, lines of equal pressure or isobars. It's going to be a very windy start to your weekend. Here's Futurecast. We can watch how it plays out. I've got you rolled up and through the day tomorrow. Uh, clouds start to increase from the west. Maybe a handful of mountain showers as we start to feel the beginnings of that storm system moving through. A little break on Friday and then watch how the cloud cover and precipitation increases Friday into Saturday. And it's a quick mover. By Saturday night we should be starting to clear out, but you probably saw that quick blip of snow go by. We are expecting some mountain snow this weekend. Friday night into Saturday it will be short lived, but it could be potent along with some very gusty wind. So a forecast we need to watch and see how it evolves over the next couple of days. Once that storm is on shore, it's opening weekend for Loveland, so I know they're hoping for a little bit of fresh snow. 70s and 80s on the Eastern Plains today is where we'll top out. 60s in the high country, 70s on the Western Slope. Here's a five day forecast. So we stay warm today. We stay warm tomorrow. Friday, we stay warm. The winds pick up with that front coming in. Britt from this morning, I've made a tweet to Saturday. Notice the wording there. I'm introducing some showers ah. uh, simply because of the trend we're starting to see with that mountain snow. It gets out of here and Sunday we're right back to near 70 degrees. I think Loveland would love a little fresh snow for their oh, opening. I know they would. Yeah. You know, this morning we showed people some beautiful pictures and images of our sunrise. Chris, I know you've been busy gathering all these this morning. Yeah, they have flooded with our email and our Facebook page. Those clouds were just perfect for that sunrise, lighting the bottom with all that color. Wow. I've put many of them in a gallery online. It's also linked to our Facebook page. So go check them out on your lunch hour and, and have a nice moment of in looking at all those beautiful pictures. That one right there taken from Copter 4 this morning on the CBS 4 Morning News. Stunning. I loved it. Chris, thank you so much sure. for doing that for us.